In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can add a prefab that already has a VRC Fury script. So if you have a pants or shirt item and it already has a VRC Fury script, I'll show you how you can just apply it to your character, link it, and then set it to default on. So in this example, we'll be using the Winter Paw sweatpants. So I will simply import it into my project. Hit imports. When it's, <clears throat> once it's fully imported, I'll simply just open it here, click on this prefab here, drag it in up here, and then just right click it, unpack completely. And pretty much everything's already set up on this one. There's just a few things for me to adjust here on the blend shapes. To make sure that everything works, I do have gesture ma manager. This does make it a lot easier. You can simply get this by going to the creator companion right here. And when you do manage projects, it is one of these options here. So it'd be gesture manager. You do not need to add it separately as a separate package. It's part of the official created packages. But now that we have gesture manager, I will hit enter play mode. It will load all of that. And by default it is turned off. But if I go to clothing, I'll see the sweatpants there. Just click on that and you can see it turns on. And then if I move the avatar around, you can see that the sweatpants move with it. So you know that the armature is fully linked. Now, if you want your prefab on by default, you can just go into the object that holds the VRC Fury script, scroll down, and then in this toggle window, we can hit options and turn default on. So now if we go into the play mode that will enable gesture manager, we won't have to toggle the sweatpants on, they'll be on by default. If you like this episode of Mind Point Summit, please be sure to hit the like button and comment letting me know that the tutorial worked for you. And if you wanna continue watching content like this, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Besides that, continue learning and have a nice day.